Hi there, my name's Sandra and I'm the Crafty Hairdresser. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'm going to show you how to make this really lovely, pretty card um, using my fl floral die cuts. Um, as you can see, I'm using just a nice sort of pearlized yellow card base and a white um, panel, which I'm actually going to back onto a die cut cereal box. Um, and this is just to stick on so that it gives it a bit of sturdiness. Um, I really don't like wasting my good card to do this, so this is something I've came up with just as a wee money saver for myself. Um, as you can see, just used double sided tape and also my wet glue just to give it a little bit of more grip, just in case the tape comes loose at any point. And just very, very carefully putting it on as straight as I can um, and the wee trick there with just taking a little bit off the the back in is really helpful because it means that you've got just a little bit more um, to play about with to try and get it straight and next up is the the nice die cuts rose gold die cuts um, really loving these I, got these and they were like 3 99 or something which was an amazing buy. Um, I was after something like this, just a wee bit more intricate than I had a rose dye before and it was more like a background and it was just slightly embossed so you couldn't really see the detail whereas this one I just absolutely love. And what I've decided to do here is the white roses are actually it's a slightly different shade of white which is quite hard to see here. But it was just so that it was just a little bit more noticeable to the eye when you were looking at the card. Um, yeah, I absolutely love these. They're so beautiful. And again, just using wet glue um, really carefully. Try not to put too much on, which I tend to do quite a lot. And I just don't want to make a mess of this. It's so lovely. And this is just a panel that I'm going to cut out more roses from, but this time I'm going to do some ink blending. Um, actually, when I say ink blending, there's not really much blending going on at all. I'm just basically laying down some colour. As you can see, all different kinds of ink. My Distress Oxide, which I have to say is like my favourite, and this is the only colour I have just now. I'm waiting on some more coming. And a Stampin' Up, a hobby craft, and a Do Crafts, I think you say. Um, just try to pick really nice, sort of nice fresh colours. Um, so I'm going to start putting them down, just quite random. If you're going to use colours like these though, what I would say is like the green and the pink and green and orange really don't go very nicely at all. They could go a bit muddy, so where those two colours end up sitting together, I try not to overlap too much, just to keep it all a really nice sort of rainbow colour rather than muddy. I love this yellow, it's so beautiful. I think that squeeze lemonade. And please excuse the sponges I'm using. Ugh, I've got um, the proper ink blending ones but they just look so disgusting now. I need to get brand new ones. And the ones I've got are rectangle as well. I think I'm going to get the circle ones. I feel like they would be better for blending. If there's any suggestions what's best, let me know. That green, it's such a beautiful bright green, I love it. Especially next to that yellow. Um, it's so fresh looking. As you can see, this is the panel all being coloured in with the inks and cut out. And as you can see again, like it really wasn't important to blend it or anything, it just looks so pretty. And what I'm going to do now is just stick these over the top of the other layer of flowers, the white flowers. Um, quite random again, I don't want them matching up with the ones that's underneath, just sort of layering. Um, just to give it a lot more detail when you're looking at it, so you'll be able to see the ones behind and the ones in front. Um, I think that would be so much better. And just sticking them on um, with wet glue again, again trying to be careful, especially when you've got the ink, I think it might react with that if you've got too much on it and 
just not look nice at all. And I'm just snipping off the little, sorry I can't speak today, snipping off the little extra bits hanging over the side. And if I can, I'm just using them just to fill in the little gaps where I feel like it's just a bit empty. Some of the little bits look like they're actually a waste of time, but it's amazing the difference it makes even just a wee tiny bit on the edge. My beautiful cereal um, box. <laughs> and that's panel more or less done, it's just beautiful. Um, and now, before I do anything else, I'm just going to stick it on to the actual card base. And then that'll be that done. And with this being wet glue on this, I've got a little bit more um, leeway to try and get it nice and straight and be able to wiggle it about a little bit. Which makes a big, big difference. The only thing is, you have to remember just to try and put something on top of it to keep it flat. Um, just like I'm doing, I've just got that big acrylic plate. Just making sure all those little bits are stuck down because you don't want any little bits just starting to peel up or anything. It's looking really pretty. I'm pleased with that. And now my Lawn Fawn White Embossing Powder, I'm going to put a little sentiment onto a piece of circular vellum. And I'm sure it says just for you. So... Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I would love it if you could comment, maybe leave me a wee tip. Please subscribe and like and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.